सर एक्चुअली रिसेंटली लास्ट मंथ आई जॉइंड इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट एज अ टैक्स असिस्टेंट सो आई एम पोस्टेड हियर एज अ टैक्स असिसी टैक्स असिस्टेंट सर टैक्स असिस्टेंट ओके सो इज इट बेस्ड अपॉन सम एग्जामिनेशन यस सर स्टाफ स्टाफ सिलेक्शन कमीशन एग्जाम एसएससी ओके वेरी गुड वेरी गुड सो यू हैव यू आर पोस्टेड एट uh at the present city we are we are speaking from yes okay. yes mm. so before joining this post have you undergone some training uh no sir actually our training will start uh, in i think may uh, later so without uh, training we have joined the post recent current joined the post fair yes, enough sir. good mm. so uh, interestingly uh uh i find that you have uh, chosen geography as your subject and you are a ba yes, honors in geography uh, yes sir and political science was another subject which you opted for okay yes sir very interesting and you have said in your depth that you are as a hobby you have this reflective writing yes sir please let me know what is this reflective writing i am i failed to understand Uh, writing i know but what is the reflective writing have you written something published something uh, sir i write uh, for personal use mostly and uh, this reflective writing is a tool for me to assess a situation from a unbiased and detached perspective for okay. example if something bothers me sir i write that incident and i try to see it from a different perspective because we are biased towards our own views So it, it's kind of a tool to see things so from different perspectives. Is there fine? I, now I understand your point. So is there any other uh, writers famous for this type of writing? Is there any other examples available, or is just your own in, innovation? Uh, no, sir. Uh, not my innovation. But uh, I think uh, if we categorize this writing uh, like uh, broadly then i think even mahatma gandhi's my experiment with truth was a reflective exercise oh, or uh, yeah. victor victor frankl's men search for meaning was also a reflective journal only okay yes sir so you you are i think you mean to say um, biographies and autobiographies come may come in this category may come in this category uh, may it may come sir it may come like that fair enough now uh, it is gave me to my next question uh, which we could cause you may mention it uh, my experiment with truth so uh, uh, this is have you read this book uh no sir not completely uh, i have not read it completely few chapters really. here and there yes sir. okay two chapter in the beginning or in the end or in the middle uh I mean, sir, there is a book. Uh, uh, Odia translation was there with me uh, during my okay. school time. So, yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. So you must read it. Whether Odia yes, translation sir. or original English or Hindi, you must read it. I will suggest yes, sir, you. Sure. Uh, no, uh, uh, in terms of political science, uh, which you must have studied your, during your B, course of BA. uh which book which which are the topics you covered sir it was an elective subject uh, okay. during my second year yes, uh, yes. so there sir they mostly dealt with uh, indian polity polity so yes, what sir, was the, what they covered in indian polity was they what they covered which which what was the syllabus what were they teaching sir, you the, uh, sir the syllabus was basically Uh, how indian polity functions the different organs uh, about the parliamentary system about constitution all these things sir okay okay so uh, about the constitution of india there is certain thing called basic features what yes, are sir. those basic features have they taught you about that yes sir sir basic feature is basically there are important basic, supreme court judgments also yes sir it's a basically judicial innovation which was given by keshavananda bharti case in 
and sir uh, there are certain features which cannot be amended because it will kind of violate the the basic core of constitution such features are sir for example secularism for example the essence of fundamental right uh, the the basic uh, uh, so i got i got your point my yes. next and last question is are these features finalized or they are evolving or dynamic so they are dynamic in nature okay so they they keep changing or they they keep adding this is a new feature the new feature the new, new feature yes sir through various uh, uh, supreme court judgments uh, we have seen uh, the addition of basic feature because constitution is at the end is a living document so we need to uh, see uh, it's a ever evolving process sir any new any data 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 to the list of the basic features uh sir i'm not able to hear sir pardon me there is, a is there any new addition in the list of basic features by the supreme court sir i'm not able to recall correct currently sir any anyway whatever last you recall any thing which supreme court said about it basic feature sir i think judicial review uh, was termed as a basic feature in i think uh, the ndc judgment sir, in the court judges case it was reiterated sir okay okay fine thank you on my part i request uh, dr sir to continue, continue. Okay, okay. Yeah. sir as can you hear me properly uh, yes sir there is a echo sir there is echo uh now it's fine sir all right all right okay you have mentioned in your def regarding barefoot running how barefoot running is different than you know why not you run with the shoes why a barefoot running i fail to understand what are the benefit uh, of uh, running with the barefoot why not with shoes here yeah, please uh yes sir uh for example it's a movement going on and this is not about ditching shoes or anything this is more about embracing the natural movement and comfort for example sir when we run with shoes uh, there is a cushion the the hill is quite high so there's a hill to toe strike in uh, shoes running but when we run barefoot sir that's a four foot or mid foot strike which is usually good for a natural gait for a natural running form secondly sir when we run barefoot when we run barefoot sir uh, as our feet is connected to the ground the body has its own sense of sense of awareness so there's a lightness in the movement and uh, if one is struggling with shoes then he can definitely try it sir and in my personal case sir if i say i didn't make a conscious change sir because uh, i have always been running barefoot for example the school i come from their running barefoot was norm and wearing shoes was exception so we used to play football and everything barefoot only so it's kind of uh, habituated to me so do you run professionally or it is for the sake of hobby so it is for the sake of hobby but uh, uh, i this, the ra- last marathon i participated the vizek marathon i ran there barefoot sir also in the marathon you did uh... Uh, jogging or say running on the road side yes Am sir I correct yes sir so uh, you use the tape uh, or completely barefooted sir i did it completely barefoot uh, but one can use the tapes or anklets for a little bit of protection okay so what is the role of stretching in the uh, for getting good time for a runner sir stretching is the most important thing the pre run or post run in both the cases sir because it prepares your body to get ready for the movement and if you don't warm up and if you don't stretch there is a problem of injury sir so it's very important so stretching is done for warming up or for the cooling down or for both sir both sir for example sir uh, 
the dynamic stretching is usually done for warming up and the static stretching is done for cooling down good uh, okay have you heard of the new uh, policy on the education new education policy 2020 uh, yes sir how it is different than 1986 policy sir uh, this policy particularly try to uh, cater to the entire system of uh, education from nursery to higher education level and there is a change in structure for example 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 uh, uh, in terms of uh, specialized categorization classes sir then sir it, it did away with the separation between arts and science subjects so that students can take up both these subjects together they will be given a choice thirdly sir it emphasized on vocational education and uh, especially focused on multilingualism so that uh, uh, people from different strata can be catered and the thirdly sir it also proposed a higher education commission of india so except uh, the medical and legal education a higher education of india can be umbrella body to cater to all the regulation of educational institution so broadly these are the points that are uh, coming to my mind sir and what's about uh, gross enrollment ratio in the higher education is there any change yes. in the new policy yes, sir i think they want to increase it uh, beyond 50% or something i'm not able to recall sir uh, they want uh, they, it should be 50% by 2035 okay good yes, sir. my last question is a situation which i am putting before you you have to respond uh, so uh in your state uh, the mining activities uh, must be you might have come across the mining activities by chance uh, in a district where you are posted after your final selection where you are a district head and uh, you come across uh, problem of illegal mining there uh, the mining mafia he has come to your office to allure you uh, under such a situation you have not uh, you know uh, shown any favor to him then he started threatening how you will handle this situation on one side there is allurement on the other side he is also giving a threat and he is doing the illegal work also uh, he he has good link with the uh, senior politician who can affect your posting uh, let me know your response on it sir can i take a few moments to think Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So, the basic principle on which I'll work is I'll abide by the constitution and the rules. So, getting into the temptation of allurement or threat is definitely not an option. so even if he has high contact and sir if a person has high contact then does not mean that entire system is uh, with his contact there is definitely uh, good seniors uh, honest seniors whom with whom i can consult and uh, they can give me advice about because they have also faced the situation in india in a particular district or state so first of all i'll consult the seniors sir second is sir when uh, their life threatening situation will become very much imminent imminent then sir then i try to uh, take the help of security and force because uh, the protection of family is my duty and thirdly sir i can take uh, the legal route also if uh, there is uh, too much of uh, 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 encroachment into my personal life okay good thank you the next thank you sir. Hello, Sai Raj. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Yeah. Uh, you have taken participation in, you know, mitigation, cyclone mitigation and adaptation. Yes, sir. And Orissa is uh, one of the cyclone-prone state, right? Yes, sir. And cyclone often comes hit the state, right? Uh, can you tell me the some government initiative? that basically you know targets the mitigation and adaptation in odisha 
सर ओडिशा स्पेशली वर्क अंडर फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ नेशनल साइक्लो मिटिगेशन प्रोजेक्ट बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट सर इट हैज इट्स ओन इंस्टीट्यूशन सच एज द ओडिशा डिजास्टर मैनेजमेंट अथॉरिटी विच वॉज फॉर्म प्रायर टू द नेशनल अथॉरिटी एंड ऑल्सो द ओडिशा डिजास्टर रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स विच इज वेरी एजाइल एंड वेरी रेस्पॉन्सिव एंड सर अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट सर in terms of key modify one of the first states to implement the early warning system in 2018 and uh, through this sir uh, our evacuation has been very speedy and very time bound because we are getting the information very early and in terms of such structural measures we have more than 800 na- cyclone sh- sh- shelters which we have built in collaboration with iit khadakpur so these are just resilient and they can cater to more than 1000 people so all these things are like really helped and mostly sir local adaptation local capability has been strengthened so these are the few measures sir fine uh, if you look at odisha which has the largest number of uh, scheduled tribe in a state can you put some light on you know the various policies of the government on tribal sir uh, odisha tribal policy has been based on empowering the tribals and enabling them to develop in their own genius rather than imposing the based development so there are various schemes of odisha government sir for example in 2015 there is a odisha pbtg livelihood and employment program even in the recent budget sir uh, in 2023 24 season uh, there was a mukhya mantri Uh, adivasi jeevika mission for financial empowerment and uh, improving the livelihood of tribal also sir okay. odisha very yeah about the central government schemes and the well, yeah, welfare schemes yes sir uh, and odisha as i was mentioning odisha is very keenly cooperative with center in these schemes to kind of uh, gather the synergy kind of uh, yield the synergy for example the central government government uh, pvtg mission which was launched in previous years and even the recent pm janman yojana that is very a uh, significant step and uh, both center and state are cooperating in overall tribal development fine uh, can you tell me the you know israel the bordering areas of israel the neighboring states of israel Sir, there is Lebanon in northern part of Israel. Then there is Jordan uh, and Syria in eastern part. And uh, the northern the, and the southern border, I think uh, it opens up at uh, Gulf of Aqaba. Uh, if I am not uh, wrong, if I am not able to correct, uh, recollect is uh, rightly. And sir, in the the western part is uh, open to the sea. The Uh, yeah. uh, recently, South Africa, you know, made an allegation yes, to Israel that it is doing genocide in Palestine, right? And it has filed a petition in International Court of Justice. Right? However, if you look at the most of the Western country, you know, have opposed the idea. What do you think about the Israel-Palestine war? Sir, uh, as you mentioned, South Africa has filed this in ICJ because it has been a sufferer of apartheid and genocide. So that's why it has it has it took the issue to the ICJ uh, for violation of Geneva Convention 1948. But uh, if you look at the Israel Palestine conflict, it is much more complex than this uh, simple uh, thing because sir, uh, there is the issue of uh, terrorism by Hamas, which started this. Uh, uh, escalation this time and sir uh, there is also involvement of lot of other players lot of proxies are also involved in this war so kind of but sir definitely need to how israel is uh, progressing with uh, evacuating the gaza because more than 2 million people have uh, left the place so the most important thing in this case is dialogue and diplomacy and at least a temporary ceasefire in this case because the region stability is not just uh, limited to the region but the entire world economy 
Fine, sir. Have you heard about the Nari Shikti mission of the Indian government? Can you uh, say that, that what are the dimensions of the Nari Shakti mission? Sir, although I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, come back, read about it in detail the Nari Shakti mission, but uh, I think uh, if I can take a uh, educated guess, then uh, it may be must be something related to empowerment of uh, uh, women in terms of financial, in terms of social and political empowerment. Okay, have you heard about denotified tribes, semi-nomadic tribes yes, and nomadic tribes of India? Yeah, can you tell me the what are the policies and programs government have initiated for empowerment of denotified tribes? Uh, these denotified tribes, uh, they were initially in the colonial times, they were uh, accused as criminal tribes. Uh, uh, and uh, because of that, uh, they have suffered a lot of historical injustice and backwardness. So I think, sir, in the past or budget prior to that, there was some mission. I'm not able to uh, recall at this moment. But certainly, sir, government is taking very specific measures to uplift this particular section of price, apart from larger tribal welfare. OK, uh, you know, can you talk about LGBT groups? Yes, sir. LGBT, yeah, LGBT, LGBT groups. You know, government passed, uh, you know, uh, act called Rights of the Transgender Act 2019, right? Can you tell me a few features of the this act? Sir, it uh, statutorily recognized the rights of uh, transgender people and uh, it kind of gave uh, them the protection, uh, the desired space uh, in the society. Apart from it, sir, uh, it also uh, it has also some measures in terms of uh, providing certificate and government benefits to transgender people where they can self identify and uh, the uh, dm will issue certificate to them for other benefits and sir uh, uh, apart from it sir it kind of uh, started a wave so that other states are also following in uh, giving various benefits to this uh, transgender community Okay, that I'm done with your interview. Now Jitendra will ask. Uh, hello, Siraj. So you are from Odisha. Yeah, yeah. So yes, tell me something about the Linga War and how it has changed Ashoka. Uh, so this war happened in 3rd century BC and uh, this war was a turning point in the life of Ashoka where uh, he came to conquer Kalinga but uh, by looking at the bloodshed and by looking mm -hmm. at the loss of life, his life changed and he changed his uh, policy from conquering states to conquering hearts and he the policy of religious tolerance and kind of changed from Chanda Shok to Dharma Shok. All right, so Orissa had always been uh, like marginalized from the central rule and uh, it had always been different from ancient time to this day. Even this day, Orissa has not been in use in the mainstream news. Okay, so it is from ancient time. If you talk about Delhi Sultanate, they even did, did not rule over Orissa for many years. Same with the Mughals, okay, and till now also. So I just want to know that how Orissa had been different from the mainstream politics in Indian history. So as you rightly mentioned, Orissa or the Odia speaking people has never been a consolidated community. For example, the northern part of Odisha was always part of Bengal province. The western part mm -hmm. from where I belong, it was part of central province. And the southern part was uh, of uh, the Madras province. So that's why sir, the political unification has been long delayed in Odisha. And that's why we see an amalgamation of culture in Odisha also. And uh, as far as mainstream politics is concerned, sir, uh, as you rightly mentioned, there was very less uh, involvement or influence of this Mughal or Delhi Sultanate. 
and uh, the princely states were there in western odisha and uh, overall sir after the piker rebellion in 1817 mm-hmm. it was uh, uh, majorly sir uh, 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 post that uh, maratha and east india company mostly ruled sir and not uh, the uh, other medieval kingdoms all right very nice so do you know about the iskon movement iskon temple movement so iskon temple movement is uh, inspired from one of the very famous bhakti saint in this time in the 13th 14th century so who was that bhakti saint who, and who had in also in, inspired one of the ruler of uh, drajpati dynasty who gave up his kingdom and then he became follower of that saint so who was that saint what is he doing uh sir that saint is uh, prabhu shri chaitanya yeah and uh, i'm not exactly able to recall the name of that uh, gajapati king uh i think all right can you recall any event where gajpati were so powerful that they had even defeated uh, bahmani rulers and vijayanagar kingdom they have even captured hampi the city capital of vijayanagar but gajpati were so powerful so who was that particular ruler or who was that particular prince who were dominant over the south india Sir, I need to look into Odisha history specifically. Sir, I am currently not able no, to recall. You are you have read history in your graduation as a light subject and also not history. And apart from it, you are from Odisha. That's why I asked you. Okay, it's okay. Yes, sir. Are you interested in the freedom movement? Yes, sir. Have you read any topic? Any interesting topic you want to tell me? Any person you admire him? Anyone from the freedom movement? Name someone. some moment some topic sir i think uh, especially sir uh, from odisha a 12 year old person uh, named bajirao uh, mm-hmm. during sir quit india movement uh, uh, this particular kid uh, mm-hmm. when the uh, britishers were uh, kind of asked him to cross in the road he was basically a boatman so he denied mm-hmm. and he was shot dead so i think sir uh, this mostly unsung heroes they inspire me because they are very rarely mentioned in our history books so the courage of this uh, such a young kid is also as important as the big freedom fighters all right very nice and can you recall any event of inc in odisha let has inc indian national congress organized any session in odisha during the freedom struggle time I think that they were involved in, if I'm not, if I'm able to recall correctly, Uttal Samilani movement. Where uh, and can you tell me, Kaling, that Kaling Nagar, Kaling Nagari, the Kaling Nagar is a part of contemporary Odisha or it is a part of different states? Uh, it is part of contemporary Odisha. Are you sure? The ancient Kaling is a part of Odisha or not? Sir, I have to look upon this a bit more, sir. All right. Have you heard about the eighth wonder of the world? There, there were already a seven wonders of the world, Satma, Satadula. So now there is the eighth wonder. So have you heard this in the news recently? Sorry, sir, I have not heard about it. Okay. Do you know about the seven wonders? Uh, not every wonder. I can name a few. Name For example, Taj, Taj Mahal is one, sir. Uh, uh, then the Statue of Liberty is one. Then uh, uh, the Rome uh, that uh, I'm not able to. Uh, All right. So I will ask you last yes. question. That tell me how our Constitution of India was inspired from the freedom struggle, the ideas and the spirit of freedom struggle. sir uh, if we look at uh, the preamble so mm-hmm. it starts with uh, we the people mm-hmm. so it kind of gives the ultimate authority to the people who were responsible for the freedom struggle and uh, the freedom struggle was not just against uh, the britishers mm-hmm. but also for the upliftment of all the masses 
so all the mm-hmm. values that are inscribed in the preamble kind of uh, suggest that that we should be a republican country we should have uh, so uh, secular the uh, because we suffered mostly because of the division of uh, religion division communal politics so we try to overcome this by imbibing these values in preamble also sir if we look at the fundamental duties it also tells us about respecting the national ideals the national symbols and the national freedom movement so we should always remember how far we have come and uh, what we should always cherish all right very nice siraj so so siraj uh yes, interview is over the time yes, to sir. give a feedback to you and there after you can ask question if you want to ask any question generally your interview is very good to my mind and i think my colleagues will agree with me that you have performed quite well uh, on different subject and aspect of we really talk to you mm, few session for your improvement of your performance before the board uh, which we observe from my side uh, i think uh, uh, certain knowledge areas you have to improve further area yes, related sir. to your knowledge you have to improve further particularly on the questions which you could not you were not able to reply and which we ask you uh, uh for example uh, they ask you about uh, new education policy points you mentioned are very good very nice but most important the objective nep 2020 the first paragraph of nep 2020 talk about subjective but what yes, this sir. education policy want to achieve want to see india where which next generation it want to generate and of course then for subsequent thing which you mention so you must talk about the objective also mission also its mission also objective also. yes sir similarly yes, sir. Uh, like freedom movement I, you must read more about it you must read more yes, about sir. freedom movement mm, we have we find that talked about gandhi's uh, book if you have not read fully you must read fully because gandhi's book is very important it is towering personality of freedom movement and gives a lot of insight in his personality and particular to his entire leadership role in the in the freedom movement uh, similarly on constitution basic features you mention good and uh, but uh, what is the latest judgment on the subject what supreme court has been saying on this thing uh, you must know about it about it uh one question asked is just now by the member of the constitution inspired by the which which particular chapter of constitution which particular feature of the constitution inspired by the freedom movement you have mentioned one or two point a preamble is rightly so but i in my opinion in my opinion i think the basic most important part which is inspired by the freedom movement is the directive principles of a state policy those principles of the state policy we state should pursue uh yes, the directive principle where a lot of reformative and uh, uh, things are suggested to government all based upon our freedom movement a lot of things are based on freedom movement you can go through that and judgment on that uh on on uh, certain uh, communication part of it there are two things which i observe that any time you said as you rightly said sir as you rightly said sir don't tell the board at the board, don't and tell the board that you are right you can say the separate thing uh, the yes, point sir. you mentioned sir noted i have noted the point or this point is is an addition to my knowledge i go ahead like that yes, sir. So, uh, that that sentence is not very suitable you rightly yes, said sir. so this may come from yes, board to you but not from mm. you to board that's my opinion think over it right try to avoid it i mean it yes sir Similarly, yes, when you say government are taking a lot of major, government of police are taking measures, so you specify certain measures. It's a, it's yes. a general statement uh, may have a meaning, but it will not carry much weightage unless you add to certain schemes, program, examples, laws like that. Otherwise, a statement made made by anybody on the on the street, not a, yes, an sir. officer, person who is aspiring to be an officer in the government of India, avoid such things like that. so there are need for more in depth uh, knowledge on the various subject which we have talked about yes sir you can yes, enumerate sir. have you got your interview date 
No, sir. Not yet. No, sir. So presumably you may get at least a month or so at your disposal before your yes, date uh, is notified or given to you. So you have time to go through. You have more in-depth knowledge on various subjects, particularly the subject which is uh, there in your depth, particularly subject of your mathematics. We have not talked about to you mathematics. Much about mathematics. There may be some expert on mathematics in the board. So go more in depth. depth. There are suggestions, of course, that you visit uh, websites of Government of India, ministries of social welfare ministry, education ministry, health ministry, like that, agriculture ministry, where you can find all their schemes and programs and achievements and development in a very concise manner. Maybe yes, their reports are also available on their website. And the reports have uh, executive summary also, and the statistics also, certain data also there. You can go through and remember some of the important statistic data to substantiate, to to strengthen your reply on various topics. Yes, sir. One good source of learning is sun, debates and suns on Sunset TV. In addition to your newspapers, to watch debates yes, on Sunset TV, is a very important source of. Uh, uh, learning and information. We cannot comment about your dress and uh, body language because we are watching you on, on, on online. But definitely, yes. I think such a casual dress will not be. Uh, no, I, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've given to the tailor. To... You've given a tailor. And maybe yes, in, in where you are sitting, it is very hot. Delhi may not be that hot in that time. But still, you yes. can have a more. More formal dress. I leave it yes, to sir. what formal, but more formal dress and more yes, sober sir. dress. Okay, so uh, this is one of the most session. Anything else, sir? Um, uh, you also go through recent judgment of Supreme Court on, or discussion yes, going sir. on Supreme Court. Very important uh, topic: uh, judicial reviews mm -hmm. and appointment of CEC, Article Three Seventy. Uh, yes, sir. Like that, there are many topics on which they have given judgment, and, and issues are before them. Uh, this is uh, same sex marriage, like that. There are issues on this, like that. Hmm? Uh, go through government policies and programs, especially related to women, SCST, and other socially backward communities. And for that, you can visit their website. Okay? Yes, sir. If you want to add anything, want to ask anything? Uh, no, sir. I just need to brush up on my uh, knowledge. Uh, I'm not like more, more in depth. Yes. Otherwise, your communication is quite good. Your confidence yes, level is quite good. Your personality is very good, and uh, you have already successfully completed a staff session commission, which is almost same pattern of examination uh, and almost same. Way of viva voc and same way of uh, personality test. So you have qualified a very important examination. Already qualified and passed. I wish you success in UPSC also. Thank you, sir. All the best. All the best, Sainaj. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. Bye, up you. You are currently the only...